Here's the 2-1 pitch. He jammed him and a little pop fly. Hops in near the dugout. Has it and falls into the runway. Butch Hobson made his Major League debut at the Red Sox in 1975. He became a regular in 1977 and quickly made a name for himself. He made the catch and comes out of the runway. What a play by Butch Hobson. Hobson, now 56, finds himself managing the Atlantic League's Southern Maryland Blue Crabs after eight seasons with the Nashua Pride. The board of the Atlantic League, they, they do it right. I mean, all the ballparks are nice. Um, the, the, the level of talent that comes here to play, they come here for a reason because the Atlantic League is so good at getting players back to organizations. Um, you know, and I'm sure that the, some were already signed out of spring training. And I know last year, early in the year, it was a, a lot of players signed. Uh, the talent level is good. I mean, baseball is baseball, and being part of it is always special. Hobson managed the Red Sox from 1992 to 1994, but he's best remembered for his cannonball style of play during the days of the high-octane rivalry with the Yankees in the late 70s. The pitch to Doyle, hit up the middle. It's in there for the base hit. It's second on the foul spy, Mickey Rivers. The throw coming to the plate. He's out. Well, when you look back at, at those days and those teams you were a part of, I mean, that might have been the best team that never won a championship. It was a good team. I, and I might agree with you on that. I mean, uh, <clears throat> the uh, 78 season was was a heartbreaker because we were up so so many games at the All-Star break but you know I always people talk about it I always say you got to credit the, the Yankees they played outstanding baseball the second half of the season you know I, I know in the 70s the, the rivalry was so intense as was Hobson in the early part of the 70s he was the starting quarterback for Bear Bryant's Alabama team by 1977 he was in a Boston lineup loaded with sluggers so much so that Hobson batted ninth and still managed 30 home runs in 1977. To be a part of that lineup, I mean, you know, if, if it was hitting 10th, I would have done that just so I could play. But uh, <laughs> that was a tremendous lineup, and, and uh, you know, to be able to, to be on the same field with Yaskrimski and Fisk and Freddie Lynn and Jim Rice and Dwight Evans and uh, Rick Burleson, it was, uh, it, was a, it was a very, very good hitting lineup. 35 years after being drafted by Boston, Hobson's love for the game is as strong as ever. Well, my sons and I sit around watching games on TV, and we always have a baseball, and, and I'll smell it, and I'll <laughs> hand it to him, and he'll smell it, and he'll hand it to his brother, and he'll smell it, and it smells good. It's, it's a great game. It's a special game. Um, I hope one day to see my son's careers, um, if it comes to, and they're fortunate enough to be able to do that, but uh, I just love baseball, man.